get your fundamentals right. Like mm-hmm. make sure like you're really prepared to do the interview and do an excellent job on it. Knowing the skill is different from excelling in interviews. So practice, practice, practice as much as you can. Will Gen AI kill this data job? As a working professional in the field of data analyst, data scientist, what you need to do is... Give me a roadmap. How can someone become a data analyst? How much time do we have? Oh, that's your thing. All right, let me... <laughs> You have to put it. So the thing is, you have to start the timer and you have to show the timer in the camera. Here we go. Three, two, one. Data analyst. Go. Cool. An entry level data analyst needs to know. Sundas, first of all, thanks for coming to the channel and talking to my viewers. So you come from totally non tech background. Can you tell me a little bit about who you are and how did you get into tech? Yeah, of course. I'm happy to. My name is Sundas. First of all, thank you so much for having me on the, your channel. Uh, I'm so excited to be talking to all of you today. I come from a non-tech background as in I like, actually went to business school and I currently work at Google as principal analytical lead. I've had quite a journey over the last 10 years. I started out from business school, decided mm-hmm. to become self-taught data engineer at Amazon, then transitioned to the data scientist role, mm-hmm. and then did that for a few years and then transitioned to Google. But like this is just the TLDR of Ooh. my career journey. My viewers are always asking me whether mm. should they become data analyst or mm. data engineer or data scientist. Yeah, these are three, I would say like the three popular roles in the data science job family, followed mm. by A engineer and ML engineer. Mm. Uh, I would say like these three, although they sound very similar, they are mm. very, very different. Uh, so data analyst focuses on like understanding what has happened, looking at the data, understanding the trends and tries to figure out using Excel reports, Tableau and whatnot, um, and try to make sense of what has happened in the business. For example, mm-hmm. let's take a Amazon uh, as a business. Mm-hmm. A data analyst would look at the order history and mm-hmm. say that in the last 30 days, these are the number of orders that were placed. This is just a very simple example. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they would typically do like Excel, Google Sheets, Tableau reporting and whatnot. Mm. So that's data analyst, a core skill set for data analyst. We can definitely dive into a roadmap, sure, sure. but they use SQL, Python, um, and then solid communication because you need to be good at storytelling. Okay. Um, and then obviously Excel and um, dashboarding tools. Okay. Uh, now for a data scientist, mm-hmm. a data scientist takes it one step further where they Uh, Look at what has happened, and uh, one area of a data scientist's work is predicting what's going to happen in the future. Mm. So um, you can say that like a data scientist can do data analyst work, but not all of it. Um, And a typical toolkit for a data scientist includes uh, Python, SQL, machine learning, statistics, Mm -hmm. um, and of course, solid communication. So um, I would say like technically, data scientist is more advanced and... um, you will often see a lot of masters and PhDs yes. in data science and a lot of like statistics um, mm-hmm. graduates and uh, economists. Got it. And data science, like their salaries are crazy because at one point, uh, so I was in mainframe, okay? Mm-hmm. And I was looking to switch career. And I'm like, what's the highest paid uh, technical salaries? Data scientists came up and I started researching and studying. It was freaking hard, like all the math and everything. Being a data analyst may be a little bit easier path than right. data scientist. Is that correct? It is correct. And if you technically can become a data analyst uh, from YouTube, because mm-hmm. YouTube has a lot of free material. Including yours. Including mine. But um, yeah. there's one channel that I really love to share is Alex Analyst has uh-huh. like great videos. Uh, he has a bunch of series. Uh, where he like goes deeper into like how to do it. Mm. But there are tons of material on data analysts. Okay. You can become a data analyst. Now, this leads to another problem because it's so easy to become a data analyst. Mm. There's a lot of supply of data analysts. Uh, <laughs> so, we don't like that. You pick your battles. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. How about data engineer then? Uh, Data engineer, so I started out as a data engineer in 2014. Back mm. then, data engineering was not that popular. My uh, my salary as a data engineer was not very impressive. Okay. Now, data engineers make a ton of money. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think in the latest years, it has picked up quite a, quite a bit, especially after AI boom. Okay. Uh, the data is like now everything. Mm-hmm. And a data engineer's job is to like organize the data, create okay. pipelines, um, and manage the data, basically the whole data architecture. Mm-hmm. Um, 
So yeah, like a data engineer, like when we look at uh, data analyst versus a data scientist, now a data engineer, let's go back to Amazon example, because yeah. <laughs> I love using Amazon. <laughs> well, you used to work in Amazon. Yeah, of course. I worked there about yeah. seven years. And uh, um, so like, it's like in my, I don't want to say it, it's yeah. in my blood, but we are hiring. <laughs> what is it? We are hiring. Uh, no, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, no, that's to cut that off. Yes, let's talk. <laughs> Um, so when we're talking about the data analyst, yeah. data analyst is pulling data from some table right. to understand what has happened. Yeah. Same for data scientists. They're pulling data from some table, some right. sources mm -hmm. that they use to basically do their work that, mm -hmm. that they like statistics and machine learning on top of it. Mm -hmm. Now those tables and those pipelines are built by data engineers. Ah, okay. So like they kind of all three roles, like. Uh, um, collaborate and, collaborate and like okay. they uh, basically uh, solve a puzzle together yeah. of the whole data architecture from like storing the data, piping the data to actually making analysis and making predictions out of the data and making business decisions. So this question is on everyone's mind. Will Gen AI kill this data job? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, this is actually everybody's favorite question. Mm -hmm. And the thing I've noticed is that people who haven't worked in the industry, yeah. they tend to believe that AI will replace uh, their job. Uh, but if you have worked in the industry, especially in big tech like mm -hmm. we do, you actually know that just coding and what ChatGPT or Gemini could do is only part of the job. Right. There is so much, so many nuances, so many moving pieces that mm -hmm. it's so difficult to automate everything. Like if AI can automate all the permissions that I have to get mm -hmm. to a new data source, like please do replace my job, <laughs> at least replace that part. Uh, but um, I would say like um, the media, uh, there was a Forbes article that was uh, published a year ago where it the headline was, AI will replace data analyst job. Mm -hmm. So I think it's the fear mongering by people who don't fully understand what AI and generative AI mm -hmm. is specifically capable of uh, is just leading to like over hyping AI in the sense that it's gonna replace the job family. But that being said, like there are certain parts that AI will replace, mm -hmm. uh, for example, coding mm -hmm. um, or debugging mm -hmm. or uh, documentation and whatnot. So those things today we can do that. But mm -hmm. are those specific pieces automating and taking away the whole job families? Mm -hmm. No. As a working professional in the field of data analysts, data scientists, what you need to do is like continue upskilling yourself to understand how you can utilize mm -hmm. AI in your day-to-day -day job mm -hmm. to um, continue increasing your productivity and like stay on top of it. All right, Sundas. Yes. Give me a roadmap. How can someone become a data analyst? How much time do we have? Oh, that's your thing. All right, <laughs> let, me, let me pull up the you timer. You have to put it. So the thing is, you have to start the timer and you have to show the timer in the camera. Okay. And then, because that's how the people know if you if that's I'm right. doing a good job or no. All right, let's do it. Okay, let's do, do it. it. Do okay, it. Okay, I love it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Data analyst, go. Cool. An entry-level data analyst needs to know coding. For coding, you need SQL and Python. Mm -hmm. uh, for SQL, I would say go for uh, intermediate to advanced SQL. For Python, you can go intro to intermediate. Then you need to know uh, analysis tools such as Excel to manipulate your data. For data visualization, learn a reporting tool like Tableau mm -hmm. or MicroStrategy or Looker Studio. And then on top of it, try building projects so you can actually showcase your work and get the practical um, uh, hands-on experience mm -hmm. and have solid communication and good storytelling. Did I make it? Wow, 34 <laughs> seconds. There you go. <laughs> you, you mastered it. OK, this is I not your practice. first video. I didn't practice. <laughs> I'm sure they believe that so much. Um, <laughs> OK, so next question that my viewers ask a lot. Yeah. How can someone get into these big tech jobs coming from non-tech background? Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll be very honest. The way I got my job mm -hmm. at big tech, um, as I said, I was coming from non-tech background, and I struggled quite a bit interviewing like interviewing is a skill yes. um and i was getting rejected very very often actually almost all the interviews that were resulting in rejection mm -hmm. until um at school i went to my career counselor mm -hmm. and they helped me prep for the interviews mm -hmm. and that's when i actually started getting the interview um offers so the, get your fundamentals right like mm -hmm. make sure like you're really prepared to do the interview and do an excellent job on it mm -hmm. i talk about it in my various of my videos that knowing the skill um, is different from uh, excelling in interviews. So practice, practice, practice as much as you can. Mm -hmm. um, now in terms of like 
getting into big tech, I would say if you're in school, one of the easiest paths to get into big tech is get an internship. That's how I got into Amazon. I started as an intern and then I did an excellent job in my internship and I got a full-time offer. Um, and you would see like several trends of like, especially young people yeah. who have made it into big tech. Mm -hmm. They have gotten it through like internships uh, that uh, turned into full-time offer. Now, if you are way past your school yes. and you still want to get into big tech, I would say like um, try to get a referral and try to start networking now rather than later because you don't want to reach out to somebody when you actually need a referral and ask for a favor. Build a relationship early on so you, right. when time comes, they not only refer you, but they also help you in the interview process. So start networking and definitely ask for a referral and also like read up on, there's so many online resources in terms of like interview prep. Uh, for example, a data analyst at Company X doesn't mm -hmm. translate to a data analyst in other companies. So like try to read up on different skill set that are required for a specific role and then target work backward, which is Amazon turn, <laughs> work backward, <laughs> work backward uh, from it uh, and create a plan. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So whoever comes to my channel, Sundas, at the end, I ask them some rapid fire questions. Okay. Let's you do have it. no idea about this question. So <laughs> let's see. Okay. Let me pull them up. There you go. My drive. Are right, you ready? Yes. All right. Born ready. All right. Born ready. I like the confidence. <laughs> Seattle or New York City? Of course, Seattle. Okay, it's raining. It's terrible. <laughs> it is terrible, <laughs> but it keeps people away. So. Okay, favorite data engineering tool? Uh, favorite data engineering tool? I would say SQL. SQL? <laughs> Not really a tool, but like you cannot get away with SQL okay. without SQL. Fair. Kindle, paperback, or Audible? Kindle? Paperback or Audible? How do you like to read books? Um, paper books. Paper, yeah, same. Yeah. Love it. Okay, PC or Mac? Mac. Okay. Oh, can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I can. I don't work at Microsoft. Ethan works uh, in a PC, so. <laughs> Google or Amazon? Google. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. What are you most proud of? Uh, personally? Yeah. I would say personally, I'm really proud of what I've accomplished in mm -hmm. my career. Um, I think we briefly touched on it, and this is supposed to be a rapid fire, but I'm actually yeah. a first woman in my family to actually be graduated uh -huh. graduated from a college mm -hmm. um, and to be working in a corporate environment and um, to have a six year gap between my high school mm -hmm. and my university. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you have asked me this question 15 years ago, like um, I wouldn't believe that I have made it, I would be here. Right. So looking back, like sometimes I have to like remind myself like, wow, this is where I was 10 years mm -hmm. ago and this is mm -hmm. where I am now. Mm -hmm. I'm really proud of that. Yeah. You should be, you should be. <laughs> yeah. And it's great that you inspire others to do the same, right? Yeah. Because sometimes a lot of challenges, of course, our environment also in our mind mm -hmm. is the limiting beliefs. Right, right. So you keep preaching to those folks and inspire them. That's great. Right. Okay. If you can have dinner with anyone dead or alive, who would that be? <laughs> Who would I be? Um, I would probably have dinner with all of my grandparents because I didn't get to three of my grandparents. I didn't like really get to spend time okay. with them because they passed away before I was born. Okay. And then only one of my grandma um, was alive. So I got to spend a lot of time with them, okay. uh, with her, and I was her favorite. So like I would love to have dinner okay. with all four, all four of them together. OK, that's a great answer. Yeah. How about outside of the family? Outside of the family, huh? Dead or alive. Dead or alive. <laughs> Dead or alive. I want to, I think I'll have dinner with uh, Steve Jobs. Steve I Jobs. really want to ask him, how did he get so good at marketing? Like, mm -hmm. I need those tips as a creator, mm -hmm. uh, especially now that I'm developing products and right. courses. Like, I want to know how do I sell them? <laughs> 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 right? It's the it's a different skill set. Like, yes, I yes. put in my heart into, like, building those courses, but, like, selling is a different skill set. Oh. Like, and he was really great at that. He was great. Yeah. Okay, last question. What kind of restaurant will you take Steve Jobs to? Uh, I love Persian food. Okay. So I'll take him probably to a Persian restaurant. Excellent. That's all the rapid fire questions. How can people reach out to you, Sundas? Um, well, you can reach out to me on YouTube. Uh, it's my name, Sundas Khalid. You can also find me on LinkedIn. And I just hit 100K on LinkedIn today. Congratulations. That's incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you I can just also... hit 33,000. Way to make me feel bad. <laughs> Listen, it took me four years, so you'll make it there. 
Sure, sure. <laughs> and then on Instagram, um, uh, it's also my name, Sundas Khalid, and I'm also present on TikTok. I also have a newsletter, um, my Substack, which is also my name. Literally, everything mm-hmm. is my name. So you can like Google me uh, if you Google me. Like Google bless me with a sure. personality card or whatever. I what, saw that. What, what is it called? You are a celebrity. According to Google, finally. Yes, you have made it, you have made it. So yeah, you can just Google me and you can find me on all the social media platforms. Excellent, well, thanks for coming. I'll give all the links in the description. Awesome. And keep rocking it out there, Sundas. Thank you so much. All right. All right.